A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Luke. Mary said, My soul proclaims the greatness of the Lord. My spirit rejoices in God, my Savior, for he has looked with favor on his lowly servant. From this day, all generations will call me blessed. The Almighty has done great things for me, and holy is his name. He has mercy on those who fear him in every generation. He has shown the strength of his arm. He has scattered the proud in their conceit. He has cast down the mighty from their thrones and has lifted up the lowly. He has filled the hungry with good things and the rich he has sent away empty. He has come to the help of his servant Israel, for he remembered his promise of mercy, the promise he made to our fathers, to Abraham and his children forever. Mary remained with Elizabeth about three months and then returned to her home. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise, Praise Lord. to you, Lord Jesus Christ. That was David Hebert reading the Gospel. David is one of our four deacon candidates, and P.J. Nikes is also here with us this morning, so please keep our deacon candidates in your prayers. And the readings this time of the year are beautiful. And the Old Testament background is provided beautifully for us today in the readings. Hannah praised God for the birth of her baby. Mary now praises God with the Magnificat. And Luke interviewed Mary about the birth of Jesus. So he has that personal testimony from Mary. And of course, she went to visit her cousin Elizabeth. And it was Elizabeth's home that she spoke this beautiful prayer after Elizabeth had spoken the beautiful prayer to Hail Mary to her. And that was a beautiful encounter. And then Mary responds with the prayer we know as the Magnificat. It's one of the most beautiful prayers in the Bible. It's a prayer all priests and deacons pray every day as part of the Liturgy of the Hours at evening prayer. So it's a great prayer to read every day because, it, uh, you know, if we proclaim the greatness of God, we rejoice in God our Savior. And the scriptures are fulfilled through Mary's yes. God is faithful to his promises and he needs the cooperation of human beings. And it was Mary's cooperation that enabled the incarnation to take place. So today we are we hold up Mary as a model disciple for us to imitate. Just as she said yes to the angel, we are called to say yes to God. And just as she brought Christ to the world, we too are called to bring Christ to each other. So may we imitate the faith and the goodness and the example of Mary. Oh, 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 oh,